Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how I make my own bungee cords to whatever size I want. And I use these mostly for the kayak and rigging my kayak, holding my cooler down, strapping things down. But I also use them around the house and on the truck and stuff like that. And um, I'm going to be using these stainless steel carabiners that I got from Amazon. They're super strong for their size. They have a nice spring on them. And I just got tired of using the plastic stuff that they sell bungee cords with. They break, or if they're metal, they're not stainless and they rust out. So, um, yeah, I posted a link to these in my description, so you guys can order a few. All right. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take whatever bungee we have, cut it to the length that we need, and using like a sharp knife or something and then i'm gonna just burn the ends here a little bit with a lighter so that they don't fray that's perfect now i'm gonna take one of the carabiners and oh first things first now i can do this on the other end because it's still open but i always forget you're gonna take a piece of shrink wrap that's about double the size, maybe a little more than double the size of the bungee cord. You're going to slide it down. You're going to take your carabiner and put your bungee through. All right. Overlap about an inch and a half like so. Then you're going to take a hog tie. You could buy these at Home Depot. They come in a big bag like this. I mean, you get like, I don't know how many pieces this is. 200 pieces, it says, for... I don't know what it is, like $7 or $10. And then these are the hog tie pliers that are also like, in this, they're in the same section. They're like another seven or eight bucks or 10 bucks, something like that. You, you'll have hog ties for years um, for like 20 bucks. So you're gonna take your hog tie, right? And I like to put them in the pliers first. The pliers have like these two little indents inside where the hog tie sits. And then I'm just gonna take it and you're gonna wrap it around. Then you're gonna squeeze like so. And then you just wanna you just wanna kind of keep squeezing around. You wanna grab one end and squeeze. And then you're gonna take this end of the hog tie and squeeze. And you're just gonna keep going around until you get it nice and tight. So you really can't squeeze it anymore. Right. And that's it. That's it. That'll never, ever come out. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your shrink wrap. And you're going to bring it up around the hog tie. Like so. This is just a little extra protection from the hogtie metal. Now see how that's still sticking out a, lot, a little bit? You could just take a pair of uh, linesman pliers or channel locks and just give that a little squeeze. There we go. Same thing with the other one. Just give it a little squeeze. There we go. This makes it a little bit, a little bit rounder. So that nothing is really sticking out. Shrink wrap. Heat her up. And there we go. We got a perfect little bungee. Awesome little carabiner. Stainless steel. Salt water resistant. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Don't forget to put the shrink wrap on first because I always forget and I wind up not putting shrink wrap at all and then just uh, electrical taping it or recutting it. But this is uh, probably the simplest way to do it. It's cheap, you can make a ton of them. All right, hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. And if you'd like more videos like this, please like.